You're here to talk about the fact that in just about two and a half hours, you're going to go in and ask some questions of Mark Zuckerberg on Facebook. But we do have this news about Syria and the president's tweet this morning. I know you don't have direct responsibility for this, but traditionally, traditionally, Congress really rallies behind the president of the United States, no matter what the party, when we have a situation like this. What is the mood right now in Congress? Are we united behind the president in possible action in Syria? I would expect that we would be, but you had mentioned we have a hearing in two and a half hours. Just two and a half minutes ago, I was alerted to this tweet, and I think that there's a lot more information or detail that should, or should and will be provided by the administration. Uh, that's really the, the best answer I have to uh, your question at the present moment. I think more information will be revealed in the coming hours. And it's fair enough. We need to have four, more facts before we can form an opinion. But and let's what it go. means, right? Like, what does it mean? It's hard to, you know, there's a, there's this, a little bit of ambiguity even yet, even in his tweet, so it's difficult to really discern or interpret what, what he says and what that means. So. Okay, thank you very much, Congressman. Now let's turn to Facebook, because you will have Mark Zuckerberg in front of you. And yesterday, of course, we had almost six hours of testimony over on the Senate side. And one of the things that I certainly came away with was a sense, even among some Republicans, that in fact some form of regulation may be inevitable. Is it inevitable that there will be some federal regulation of social media such as Facebook? I, I do think it's inevitable, but how far-reaching it is, and actually who is the one that issues that regulation? Is it Congress? Is it the FTC interpreting and enforcing things a little bit differently? Um, on the election interference side, is it the Department of Justice and the Federal Elections Commission? So there's a lot of questions that still need to be answered on how that actually uh, takes effect. The other thing here is safe, uh, Facebook does self-police. Uh, Mr. Zuckerberg did indicate that they need to be much more active in that ecosystem. We don't know what that means on how they police themselves, but I do think that the American public does want to see uh, something done in the digital privacy protection space, but I also think it will be something short of what the European Union is about to uh, implement in the next month. Well, I was going to ask about that. I'm glad you raised it because we do have the new regulations coming out in Europe that are pretty far-reaching, including with some pretty stiff penalties that essentially say for users, you get a choice. You get an opt-in, opt-out, whether you can use the data and for what you can use the data. You think that's going too far, Congressman? And not only that, just to add to that, the right to erase information, the right to rectify it, um, it, it is, here's what I think. I think that that's going to be a template to learn what works and what doesn't work. We don't know what the compliance costs are going to be for a lot of tech companies. It's one thing to regulate the, these billion dollar companies. It's another thing when this permeates down to the startup company or enters into other sectors of the economy that um, don't even even realize that they may have to comply with it. So I think that we need to take this slowly and cautiously. That doesn't mean we shouldn't regulate, but it also means that we shouldn't just quickly and in a far-reaching fashion implement a set of regulations and think we've solved the problems because we might be creating more problems in the process. Uh, Congressman, obviously Congress has a lot of experience with regulation, but are we in an entirely different world? Because let me give you just two numbers that you know well. Two billion users, two billion users of Facebook and six million advertisers. They have six million advertisers. This is not like regulating a television network for, with a few hundred or a few thousand advertisers. Is it possible for the federal government to get their arms around something that big? I don't know that it, you are right. It is something uh, totally different. And I don't know, that's a good question that I don't have an answer to. I think it would be very difficult. And that's why we should not pretend that somehow we can issue regulations that somewhat, somehow will correct uh, the perceived problems and actual problems as it relates to how Facebook is utilized. Remember, it's a platform, right? So uh, it, th people will misuse it. Data will be mishandled by some people who do, do uh, use it, things will be said on there that other people don't like. Uh, the other, uh, here's what I think is a question that needs to be, uh, that we all need to think about. Should we only be able to use data for things that we agree to, or might there come a time through innovation when data will be used in ways and for purposes that we have not yet even contemplated, but will have a socially beneficial purpose? Artificial intelligence is one sort of new area that uh, we can apply that question to. And that's why we need to proceed cautiously and thoughtfully and not just react in a way that might sound politically correct, but might do more harm than good.